Hey friends, what's going on? Cooper coming at you again on my drive home from work in the beautiful Omaha, Nebraska. And by work, I mean I just hit some thrift stores trying to get some items to resell on various online platforms, including eBay, which is what I wanted to talk about today in this video. The CEO has stepped down. What does this mean? Is eBay going down the drain? Is everything gonna crumble? I don't know. But my intuition says no, everything's gonna be fine. eBay's been a successful business for a long time. I think they're gonna be okay. They're gonna get new leadership. And as a reseller and other fellow resellers out there, I think we can agree that eBay could use some better leadership. They have things that they can improve on for sure. Instead of just focusing on their bottom line, focusing on promoted listings, etc. They need to focus on, in my opinion, they need to focus on the quality of life improvements they can make on their platform as well on their mobile platform. Personally, this is my opinion. I just think they need to get a leader in there that is focusing on modernizing the platform, such as, you know, different platforms such as Poshmark and Mercari that I love selling on but they just don't know, don't have the traffic that eBay does, but imagine if they had the simplicity and the modern feel of those two platforms on eBay. eBay would just freaking be such more of a beast if they modernized it. Just talking about like, what do I mean by modern modernizing eBay? I'm talking about when you go to list something on Poshmark, it takes you like only a minute or two to list an item you just got everything's on the same page when you go to list an item you first off take your pictures put them in there you put a title description some item specifics real quick your price post you're done you're good to go and i'm talking on the poshmark mobile app if you go on the ebay mobile app it's a little more or a lot more to some people complicated to get on there you have to type out your title, figure out the specific category this item goes in, enter your custom SKU, take the pictures, which is really wonky, especially on Android, which I have, trying to upload them all at the same time. It's very complicated, or it's not complicated, but it's very time intensive, and sometimes it doesn't work right, and you gotta go do your item description, or item condition box and then there's another box that's your item description so if your item condition box and description box i don't know why there's two separate ones so that's kind of annoying and then you have a ton of item specifics depending on the category you're listing in which takes a ton of time which you should just have some basic ones keep it at that and do the rest in your description in my opinion similar to the other platforms and then you finally can do your listing but same with Mercari. Mercari is super easy. It's super simple. If you've done it, try listing on all Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. See which one's easiest. You think since eBay's been in the game the longest, they'd have it the easiest to list on, but it's just not the case. Same with listing online. Listing online on eBay on your computer is a little easier than on the mobile app. That's why I do it on the computer. But listing on the computer for Poshmark and Mercari are easy as well. But listing on your phone should be easy. So that's my tangent there. Hopefully they bring a leader in that makes listing easier because the more people that are listing on eBay, the more sales they're going to be making, in my opinion. There's going to be more quality stuff on the platform for people to buy as I merge lanes. It's probably very dangerous that I'm recording while driving. I don't know if that's allowed or not, but we'll find out. But uh, also, I know a ton of millennial resellers. None of them sell on eBay, which is nuts to me. And the reason why is because it's such a pain in the butt. Same with their fees. If they would, you know, streamline the fees, make it easy. Like on Poshmark, you have one line of accounting. You just have your one fee. That's it. If you go to eBay, you have a billion different fees. You got your final value fee, your insertion fee, now your promoted listing fee. If you do shipping, you got your shipping on your get your fees on shipping, you got your store expense, yada yada yada. It's just a nightmare. Just somehow my message to the the eBay looking for their new CEO, find someone that believes in simplicity, making it easier, and you know, more innovation to make it easier. I see that they're coming out with a new thing to 
automatically put white backgrounds behind your items. I love that. They just came out with the offer to likers, which is, the, you know, copied that from Poshmark. I love that. Keep bringing the innovations. Try to make an innovation first before another platform. You know, take some risks. You can always revert back. And I think that would be the smartest thing for them to do. So, you know, let me know in the comments below what you think eBay should look for in their next leader, their next CEO. I'm curious what you guys think. And, you know, we can only hope for the best. I still love eBay. I'm still going to sell on eBay. No way I'm not going to sell on eBay for the foreseeable future. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm curious. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.